This is night one and it's only gonna get worse from here. Representative Kafko, you were selling automatic fabri fabrication tools across the galaxy when you crash on planet. Ah, here we go. Welcome to Dig or Die. This is a fun little game that I actually saw a Pulse Wars Jr. Damn, that's loud. I actually saw a Pulse Wars Jr. play a while back, and honestly, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, I should mention one that I need to turn music down a little bit. Let me send it back some. Um, <laughs> um, I'm playing on our difficulty, which is not going to be fun. As well, I have hazardous environments on, so uh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, prepare yourself before the. Sun goes down. What all do you, did you say? With scrap broken out the crash. The other builder should be able to process scrap metal into useful iron. Okay. Um. Yeah, hazardous things can happen. Essentially, your goal in this game is to dig into the planet, find resources, and essentially build a rocket. But every night, you are attacked by monsters heavily attacked by monsters and you have to build up enough defenses to survive otherwise well yeah you're not gonna last long so yeah we need to get started i need some resources um what platform can be built on ground surface used to walk or place machines while still being processed wood and wool fragile building block resistance 2500 uh have some iron at least. It's gonna be rough. I think I want my base to be some my defensive base where I basically try and survive for the night is gonna be somewhere underground, I think. It's my best chance of surviving. Or at least gives me my best chance of surviving. Jesus! Fish are vicious. Oh my god, stop. I'm getting assailed every- f uh, Assailed? Is that correct? Is that the correct word? I'm being assaulted every few minutes. I can't mind that. I need to upgrade my freaking- Um... My, uh... Mining tool. Can't even craft in peace. We go here we go better mine tool yeah a little more blue energy hey you want to give me a blue core thingy you guys have dropped a bunch of those so far better mine tool um turret so i can at least spend some amount of time at my base without being attacked There's a thing I can't remember. I'm fairly certain I do need. I'm certain I do need some degree. I need to get the monsters a path to come at me. Otherwise, they'll just break through my walls. Otherwise, they will just bash down my walls and climb into wherever I'm hiding. So I do need to give them a path, just I want it to be a controlled path. I think I'll I think I'll build my defense bunker somewhere around here. That way I have I'm relatively close to my base of operations and I can still go back and craft things pretty easily. But at the same time I mm, I don't know how to explain. I just think it would be better to work to be close to the base but far enough away that the base isn't gonna get damaged. 
as well. I do just want it underground primarily. Gives me some moderate amount of control. Uh, I'm assuming I can do stuff like this. Aha, <laughs> suck it. Oh, 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 don't suck it. No, 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 back the fuck up. What happened to you? Why are you already damaged? Oh yeah, that's another thing to worry about. Or at least maybe that's only when hazards are on, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure bases can flood if you're not careful. It's getting dark. I can't see shit. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm just gonna hide back here and just fire at anything that comes close. I spent way too much on the wrong things. This is what I mean. This is night one and it's only gonna get worse from here. <laughs> Just fucking build a wall. There's literally nothing I can do. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Mm. Let's just. Can I just. Uh. Load. Where will this place me? Oh, this will place me at the beginning. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Probably would be a good idea to have my crafter wherever I'm gonna be building my base. That way I'm able to actually craft things in the middle of a fight if need be. There's a lot of scrap lying around here. Hmm, so killing one right, killing one of any monster means that you're gonna have to deal with them the next night, so you kind of have to choose wisely what you do and don't kill. One wrong move could be the end of you. Why do you guys drop blue energy? I haven't, like, I haven't asked that yet. Why do you drop what you drop? It's pretty weird. It's like the turret has done some decent work. Some damn good work. Good job, buddy. Okay, here it comes night. At least this time I'm a bit more ready. Sure. I'll get plenty of blue stuff throughout the night. Turrets. Can I make a love to make a light? Here we go. See, the crafter is what blocks you each time. Is already gone awry. Yes, I'm restarting again. Damn it. This is freaking difficult. Should have brought my crafter with me. Help me to craft things once I get finish getting the items. This is going to be freaking difficult. I'm gonna have to try and be 10 steps ahead of anything that's trying to kill me, which is essentially everything. Can't avoid having the fly things as my enemy because I need to kill them to be able to get the blue things to be able to make any freaking progress. See if I had the crafter with me and just place it down, craft up the better crafter, and then craft up the uh, better mining tool, and then just mine all that iron. Instead, I didn't think of that. Once you fuckers are out of water, you're not so tough now, are you? Have to see how well this works. So this is enough.
There is also a certain amount of luck to everything. Look how many of these guys spawn, how many of them drop the blue things, how quickly they drop them. I'm gonna try and avoid killing the boars if I can. I can probably handle the shooty flies, but the boars, just no. At the same time, it's not possible. At least on this difficulty, it isn't. I've had to research so many times, I may have to actually turn the difficulty down. Or just get really lucky. I really don't want to have to turn the difficulty down. Doesn't matter about the boars since they showed up anyways, despite the fact that I didn't kill any of them. So I guess the boars and the flies are just automatically there. There's no point in wasting time trying to avoid killing them. Shit. Shit. What? Screw it. We're gonna fall down into a damn cave. We're gonna fall down into a damn cave and make get some resources. Flashlight. Will you- Can I just get five seconds apiece? So it gives me a caution before I do it, but it doesn't give me that caution about boars, which tells me they do not count. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god, yes. That was so fucking difficult. Um, God, I got none of the blue energy crystals. At least we made it through a freaking night. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I did learn something. Uh, we just gotta get some more crystals. At least further along than I was the first time, so that's better, I guess. Need coal, coal, coal. I'm thinking of Gatling gun. May help. Need a bunch of concrete, which should definitely help. I need blue crystals, which should... I need a better. Let's not piss you off. That's fine. No, it's not. Right. Gotta get out of this hell. I need to find a better source for the blue energy crystals. I really do. Relying on these little fuckers to spawn just isn't working. Joy hell, you little fucking fish bastards. <sighs> no crystals. The hell are you? Not sure I wanna... No, 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 no. I don't wanna find out. I'm not looking out to fight a bunch of you assholes in the middle of the night. Where the hell would you come from? Bug off. Thing is, I have seen the ones that spawn in the middle of the night drop the blue goo. I just got super unlucky in the final run that I managed to actually finish through the nights and didn't get anything. Attention, National Disaster Sun Eclipse. The fuck does that mean? I mean, I know I turned those on, but the fuck does a sun eclipse mean? I think I'm gonna be underground for the time being, at least until that's passed. I ain't looking to find out what the hell a sun eclipse means in this world. I'm gonna get barraged. That's what a sun eclipse means. Well, this is bad. Really, really bad, especially because I accidentally placed my crafter. 
This is how this game's gonna be, isn't it? Just really trying to fuck me up the ass, right? I mean, I don't blame it. I really don't. I chose hard difficulty despite the warnings. Despite the clear indication that it was a bad idea, I chose hard difficulty. One thing the previous few attempts have taught me is you want distance. A lot of times your guns can outdistance, even the shotgun can outdistance the little zappy bucks. They are the real trouble. They really are. The hounds aren't that bad. If you have a few turrets on the roof, they really can't get to you. It's a zappy guys, which is probably why both of those are automatically in the roster of things that attack you. They're much more dangerous, much more difficult to deal with. I will pit for the ones that can for the ones that can walk. May flood occasionally, but honestly, I could care less about that. If it keeps the monsters out at night, then I'm happy. Careful with this damn thing. Shotgun's good and all, but it can also send you flying off a cliff if you're not careful. See? You can actually kind of like rocket jump with it. That's cool and terrifying. The fact that it has that much power. Not enough. I need three turrets for the first night. I'm gonna need like six for the next night. Shotgun should still be enough to handle myself. I'm gonna need more turrets, definitely. That's the thing, each subsequent day does get sort of easier. Like, a lot of the things I need to do before, getting my flashlight, getting a shotgun, get a lot of that stuff, it's already done. So therefore, things are a lot easier. Come on. Just wanted one more blue bug before the sun eclipse. Just hoping to get one more chance at something. Here we go. Take a few seconds for sun clips to start, but once it does, it does. Between me, shotgun, and the gatling guns, outside the one little hiccup we had. With the roof, I forgot about the fact that if you have a very direct, quick way. Like, just those three blocks up there of dirt wasn't enough to technically block them. They'll dig through that because that's the quickest, easiest way to get to you. I don't think I even really need to shoot much. I mean, I'll be ready to just in case, but... They're not able to get in here quick enough to overwhelm. Eclipse is almost over. Come on. There better be some of the blue goo stuff in there. I want to fix this so I can get in easier. Or at least do this. I actually kind of like the idea of having a block or two here. Just kind of makes it a bit harder for them to get in. So using concrete is actually pretty good because they're less likely to try and dig through that. Because try and dig through concrete. Cron concrete will take a lot longer than anything else and it just isn't worth it to them just gonna have to stick it out tonight I was hoping to grab some metal real quick god it's one thing you have to be careful about they need to be able to get you need to give them a, re a relatively easy path to get to you otherwise you risk Running right into issues. I can't believe I legitimately managed to finally actually get a damn foothold. As small as it is, I have managed to make enough progress to the point where I can legitimately survive the night. With um, only a minor risk of getting overran. I legitimately have a half decent moment of peace. See, even down there, you have to be careful, because with caves like that, if you give them too easy of a path, you risk them digging up through your floor. Possibly destroying turrets, possibly dropping you. Thanks, game. Now we just need to clear these guys out. Okay, those guys can handle it. 
God damn, all that and not a single blue gem of energy. Can you not? Damn. I need to find red dirt, because that's where those grow, and that's how I get the next level up. And I have to upgrade the crafting station not to be able to... I, I know the goal is to basically build a rocket and then essentially use that to escape. I know that's the goal. I just... I have no clue how to get to that goal. Just gotta be careful about your concrete walls being too thick. Because they, then they may actually start digging through. Okay. Okay. I'm ending this episode of Dig or Die off here. This was a lot of fun. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. But honestly, considering how just inanely tough that was. The fact that I managed to get a foothold at all. The fact that I have a legitimate base that I can somewhat defend during the night. And I actually have some amount of an idea of what I'm doing. It's in general pretty impressive altogether so uh yeah right now i'm gonna end this episode of dig or die off here we'll be returning later no clue what we're gonna be doing probably exploration i need to find the right ground so i can get the next bit to upgrade my workstation as well i may have to take a day or two to spend just collecting materials because i have a feeling i'm gonna end up having to build and use a base to defend during the night while i'm away from this main base i want this to be my main base that i do a lot of my operation from where i build my rocket and stuff but have other bases i can use if i end up too far out to be able to you know defend defend the base or whatever get the point right now i'm gonna end this episode of dig or die off here if you enjoyed think about leaving a like comment subscribe all that good stuff and that'd be good big one i'll see all of you in the next one goodbye yeah.